Hey, if you like my content and you want to support my channel while supporting your own channel, check out my Apex Legends thumbnail template store down below. Sergeant Anita Williams, or a legend known as Bangalore, she's been my main since day one, and if you're anything like me, you're fearless when in control of this double-timing beast. Taking full control of her kid effectively makes you relentless with your onslaught, obscuring your enemy's visibility while punishing their unexpected blind spots. She's a marvel of a character when in close range combat, capable of 1v3s if played extremely tightly in the right situations. Bangalore is definitely top tier, and possessing her heirloom weapon, Cold Steel, catapults that confident, fearless playstyle even more. That's why in today's video, I'll be counting down my favorite legendary skins to use with her heirloom weapon, Cold Steel. Part 2, comment down below yours. Number 1, the Millspec Legendary Skin. This skin was released as a part of her stories from the Outlands premiere. It's simplistic in nature in comparison with the rest of her legendary skins that has more of a weighty look and feel to them. This skin gives off more of a lighter, agile look, and the light and silver and gray mix concretes it. But the most iconic thing about this skin that stands out to me, and probably a lot of people too, it's her purple visor. You're expecting Bangalore to be streaming it's over 9000 any second now, and in game with her heirloom it looks awesome to me, the pure white of her gloves with the extruded silver parts around her wrist looks great in combination. It makes you feel even more badass knowing the origins of her heirloom and the skin she's wearing. And number 2, the Killing Machine Legendary Skin. In my opinion this is hands down one of Bangalore's best looking skins. First released as a part of the System Override Collection event, the skin surrounds and entangles Bangalore in a plethora of familiar yet unique colors of the Override event. The hug tailored material gives it a very quality feel, all while looking futuristic. The distinct blue eyes and hair helps with said appearance, and in game with the heirloom, the black and red material of her gloves turns out to be a stunning amalgamation of the two. They don't have to be imagined to be a great compliment, and this is a great example. Number 3, the Crimson Queen Legendary Skin. This skin is a rework of our Outline Warrior Legendary Skin. I personally like that one the most, but Honestly, this iteration isn't something to sneeze at. Its design is still pretty awesome, and if you're more of a fan of red than yellow, this will be to your liking. Its strong dark and red color with light golden implements all around it really gives it that crimson look. A lot of people are going to prefer this one over the yellow. It has a more of a dark sinister look that's quite fitting with the heirloom in game, especially the golden lines above her knuckles and the dark and red laid compartments on top of her hands. So overall, it's a great compliment for Cold Steel. Number 4, the Viceroy Legendary Skin. Seeing the skin for the first time, I wasn't really feeling it. Admittedly, after unlocking Bangalore's heirloom, I started to like it a lot more, simply because of how it looks in-game paired with Cold Steel. The black gloves with the golden placements on it has a seamless flow with the heirloom, it just looks really clean looking. I really adore this combination from the first person perspective, it's awesome. Alright guys, that's the video, if you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe if you're new, check out my in-depth heirloom review for Bangalore, take it easy, take it easy.